Good morning, everybody. i uh, give you a tour through the garden, see how things are progressing. Everything's growing really beautiful. Look how big the elephant ears have gotten. Oh, and I have a new farm pet that I got from my brother-in-law. They have a flea market. I'm very fortunate. I get a lot of things from my garden from their flea market. Like I said, I don't spend much money here. This I got from their flea market too, and I use it for a plant stand. It used to be a chair. I got peppermint growing in it, and it's really pretty too. Okay, let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you the cantaloupe. Look at this one, it's really pretty. I got several, some little bitty ones. It's another big one over here. Sunflowers are blooming. They've been really pretty the last few days. And they will get really big and these flowers will stay on here for a while. The middle will get really big and full of seeds. The same kind of seeds that you buy in the bags at the store. Sunflower seeds. You can also eat these. Picked a few squash this week. I only had two plants, so really didn't have a lot, but they're still blooming. We'll have more. Banana tree. Taller than me now. So pretty. Lettuce, like I told you last time, is going to seed. It'll start another crop, maybe a month. The lupus sponges. See how much they've grown since the last video? All the way up the trellis. They'll continue growing. They grow a very big vine. We have a watermelon here. This one's getting pretty big. That bloom there is from a butternut squash. I don't have any squash on the vines yet, but I think it may be too hot for them. Corn's almost done. We have a few more to pick. And then we'll remove these and plant something else here. Tomatoes, we've picked a lot of tomatoes. They really need pruning, but they're still blooming. Still have green ones. The okra is getting huge. It's blooming this morning. Bell peppers are growing like crazy. None of them are big enough to pick. This one almost. But there's tons of them. They're everywhere. <laughs> Still have a lot of banana pepper too. They need picking. Okay, these are the experiment that I told you we did with the llama veins from the grocery store. I'm gonna show you these name right here you can see them better that's what we planted just dry lima beans and they're growing very good not going to be a huge crop because i didn't plant many i wasn't sure they were going to grow these sunflowers are getting really big right here they haven't opened yet peppers Lots and lots. 
lots and lots of jalapenos and chili peppers. These chili peppers have done amazing this summer. They have lots of them. This is a really big one here. Sorry about this video. It's not very good. I know. I shot a really good video yesterday, but, you know, things happen. And I had to make another one this morning. <laughs> These begonias. I've never seen begonias grow this tall. They have not stopped blooming since I planted them in the spring. I think these peanuts will be ready to go up pretty soon and they look like they're trying to die back. I don't know if I've showed you these before, but these also dry peanuts from the grocery store. They're growing really well. Don't know if they're going to make peanuts, but we'll see. I put this up because I had some bamboo poles left. I put it up because that lupa is going to outgrow that trellis. So I thought maybe it could go across the pole. But then I got to thinking, wintertime I could just throw plastic over it and put my potted plants under there and have instant greenhouse. See all the veil paper? I told you there's going to be a lot of them. So, that's a big one. Look at that. Very pretty. Okay, well, that's about all I was going to talk about. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.